I've been coaching golf for 20 years, and one thing for sure is most people don't chip in one putt around the green enough. So I'm gonna coach you on a few things on how to chip. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the distance of the chip. For short chips where the pin is close to the front of the green, choose a little bit more lofted club, such as your sandwich or lob wedge. As the pin gets a little further away, 20, 30, 40 feet away from the front edge of the green, start to take less loft so that the chip shot runs a little further, more effectively. For me, I've got a wedge right now for a medium length chip, so that's what I'm gonna do. The ball position should be a little bit further back in the stance towards the right heel. We want the chip and run shot to be a low shot, so by putting the ball a little further back in the stance towards the right heel, that helps the club face be a little less lofted and get the ball running. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grip down on the club for a little more control. We're not trying to hit the ball far, we're just trying to get nice control on the shot. The third thing is a little bit of a narrower stance, and we're also gonna be a little bit open and allow the left foot to be a little bit open with the toe open. And that's the next one we'll talk about is making sure that we have 70 to 80% of our weight leaned on the front leg. And we're gonna leave it there throughout the motion. The chipping motion then is, is an arm motion back and a little rotation and a weight shift to my front leg. Here, I'll show you how. Right on. Now I'm gonna bring in a couple of my students and see if they can top that. Yeah, good. excellent. Nice weight on the front foot. Good shot, Liam. Yeah, excellent shots, well done. Great job, buddy, excellent. Sarah, good job. So there you have it, there's some tips on how to get your chip shots closer to the hole and have a lot more fun on the golf course. Nice and solid at the bottom. Thanks, far too heavy.